This is part of a series of videos I'm doing called Helping You Create and this week it's all about failure or specifically my failure on a project and it's all about how I built this dragon out of a wax called Siobhan and I got it completely wrong. So follow along and I'll explain what I mean by failure. So I just wanted to take a minute to talk about um, failure and failure in, in sculpting. So um, everybody shows all of their successes all the time. And the thing that we learn from the most is, is our failures. And everybody says that, but nobody really explains what they mean or not enough. So I want to talk to you about this big piece here that I did quite some years ago now. Um, and there's little bits just littered all over it that shouldn't be on there, actually. So I'll just pull the irrelevant stuff off there. So this is a, um, a monster clay sculpt. So uh, no, it's not. I'm telling you a lie. It's a Chavant sculpt. So this is Chavant. So it's a it's a kind of a waxy clay. It's quite hard. So this is Chavant medium, but, but in this climate in the UK, it's quite hard. And I then spray that. Um, some people some people disagree with that. Some people don't. But if, if you don't really care about the longevity of a piece, it's fine. Um, and it's it's a wyvern, so it doesn't have uh, six limbs. So it's got basically it's anatomically, it's a a much more realistic dragon. So if you ever see a dragon that's got um, large pectoral muscles like this, um, and no front arms, then it's much more like a real creature. So basically, it's like a bat in terms of two. It's like any 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 mammal with wings, which is really a bat, I suppose. Um, so it's got the correct muscle structure going up the arms into the wings. Um, it's got the neck, the you know the the, the rear limbs with the right sort of um, uh, uh, arrangement. This this is called. You've got either decidigrade or plantigrade types of feet. We're plantigrade. We plant our feet on the ground, and this is this is the calcaneus. This is the heel, and with us, that is on the ground. So this is a t this is the toes here. So that's all correct for for this kind of fantasy creature. It's got a tail. This is actual. Uh, this is real wood. I love all this. This is actual real rock. There's bits of scrub in there. There's there's a, there's a lot that's done done correctly in this. This is real wood. This is plasticine. Believe it or not, the eggs. So there's a lot in terms of the technical finish that I like. So I did. I think I did okay with a lot of uh, uh, of the stuff that I'm good at, the stuff that I do day in and day out. I like it. Some people may not. I, I don't really care. We, we're not here to discuss that. What we're discussing is, um, oh, let me just show you. So technically, in terms of fitments and what have you, I did it so that I could... Uh, I, I wouldn't want to cast it, but you can pull parts off. The wings come off, and I won't do it because it's quite an old piece. But when you do a project like this, if you don't do your groundwork and you don't do your um, primary forms, so all of your scaling at the start, what you'll end up with is something like this. So what those of you that... that uh, those of you that are digital sculptors already or those of you that do this for a living will have already seen the big problem here and it's one of of scale so th this is not going to work as a creature so the head is is too large for this size of body the body and then and sorry the, the head and the neck going into the body while i say they're anatomically correct so for a dragon that isn't too far out you know the, it's got large pecs like i've said that that would be driving these wings down that's what you see in birds is this this large pectoral muscle coming down to what's called the keel in the bird um it's got large serratus muscles serratus muscles at the side going into a wing so there's lots that's right about it but i got it completely wrong scale wise so the length of this it would just topple over there's no way that these these little legs even if you stretch them out to full extent, it wouldn't work. It, it just doesn't work. And the, and the problem with it is, is for the entire lifetime of how long I've had this model, um, I've always hated it because of that reason. I have to come around this plant here. I've got a plant in the way. Um, and it's really played on my mind for all these years. So all that I did wrong, believe it or not, I, I scaled this in ZBrush. So, that, so there's nothing to do with ZBrush in terms of the, the output. It's all clay. It's all on a metal armature. 
But what I did was I used Z-spheres to plan out the, the shape of, of this creature. And I didn't do a good job of it. I took too little time. I just rushed it, um, as I always do, because I'm always busy. And then I just scaled it off that ZBrush Z-sphere model. And what happened was that trans that bad um, scaling translated into this. So realistically, what I should have thought about is this neck should be about 50% the volume that it is. So it should be shorter and it should be not as big coming out. Now it is quite thin underneath, so that that would have th that would stay the same in in terms of how thin it is coming out of the chest area. But this head should be something in the region of let me hold it back. This is an odd way to do it, but you'll see what I mean. Should be like that kind of size. Let me see if I can do it. Can't really do it, but anyway, it should be about fifty percent smaller on a neck that's about. 30% smaller and that would have meant that it doesn't feel like it's going to overbalance and and the wings are good the, uh, they probably are too small but that's probably a stylistic choice that I made I don't I don't remember but I probably could have done with them being 30% bigger um, and these are all I think these were all car body filler um, so they're quite they're on a wire um, mesh so I think they're quite robust and they, they seem to work quite well. I didn't have a massive problem with that. The tail was rushed. You can tell by the, the type of sculpting on here. It's not particularly very good. And all of this was rushed. But I think at that point I'd realised that I'd screwed up a little bit. Now, you, you've heard that saying, you can't polish a turd. Well, you, you it doesn't matter how well you would paint this. It doesn't matter how much time you do, you know, the finish of the eggs, the finish of the rocks the nail detail, the airbrushing, all of that is a waste because actually I've spent my entire time with the model ever since just thinking, well, I've scaled it wrong. And you can't fix it. It's worse in physical because at least in digital, I could go back and I could I could change things a little bit easier. I, you know, I could use some of the, the sculpting and the painting again. Now, with a physical, it's done, it's finished. You, you kind of like game over. Um, now, if this had have been something I want, if this wasn't a commercial one, but if this was a commercial one and I was doing something like a Game of Thrones dragon or something like that, then this this just would have been a shocking disaster. It, it would have, it, it would have been a, you know, it wouldn't have, it wouldn't have gone. It, it just wouldn't have have, have worked. So, um, it 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 really really has played on my mind since the minute I got it, and it's it makes me really dislike this this overall model, and that clouds. The fact that some of the technical um, stuff and some of the scenery, I, I, I just think it's, you know, it, some of that is fine. It's stuff that I would do day in, day out, um, even when I'm just using stuff from nature. But if the primary form's not right and the scaling isn't correct from, from the minute you start, th th there's an old saying that says um, measure twice and cut once. And, and it's so applicable here. So what we should have done, or what I should have done, is I should never, ever have considered moving out of even ZBrush with the scaling of the Z spheres, because it all should have been fixed. I should have, I should have fixed it all before it ever left that part of the design. And that could be I used ZBrush for Z spheres, but it could be on the page, it could be pencil sketched, it could be in VR where you do all of your scaling in VR. Um, and, and that's another reason why I do like VR a lot is because I can make all those decisions within a few minutes so I can try different wing shapes. I can try different, you know, you know, I could say, right, this, this neck piece has to have really, really, you know, big muscles, but a lot smaller. And that would have solved all of those issues. Um, and looking at some of the sculpting on it, I definitely think I, I was feeling that as I, as I was coming to the end of it, I, d I definitely feel as though, I rushed things like the teeth and the and, and the tail, as I've already said, because I, I genuinely think by that point, I'd realized that I'd messed up. And rather than have a, a, another half finished model, which is obviously I've got, like a lot of people have, I've got that many unfinished you know models. It's just crazy. Um, so I probably just thought, right, I'll finish it. And that's a real shame because it's, it's done nothing but bug me ever since I did it. Now, what I could do, and what I may do if, if I don't get rid of it, is I might just hack off the front here, and I might come back and remake, uh, you know, this front. But I probably won't. It's probably, it's probably missed its time now, and it's probably, it's probably just going to disappear into either storage or, you know, give it away or something. 
it, it's it's such a shame when you do something like that. And the learning that 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 I want you to take, and the learning that I've taken from it is, you've got to slow down in that initial phase, or at least not slow down, but make sure you stop before you move out of your primary forms, because that that it's such a shame to waste all that resource, to waste all that effort and all that energy when when you when you're just polishing a turd. You, you you must really really get into the habit of getting other people to art direct you when you're in the first five percent of your work, because the scaling drives so much down the line. You know, there's so much of this that I do like that that actually makes it feel even worse because because. Technically, I was happy with a lot of a lot of the scenery and the, the stuff that I've already talked about. It, it it kind of almost feels a little bit worse. So that's all I wanted to cover. Really, is just that that thought about slowing down with your primary forms, making sure that you're comfortable with it before you move out of the primary form stage, um, and then all of this would would have been such such a you know a a, a better. Um, a much better project overall and it'd have a lot more uh, I'd have a lot more time for it and I'd feel I'd you know I'd grow to love it like I do um some of my sculpts that I have around for a long time um whereas unfortunately now this will always be it's stuck in my mind as, as as a failure of a piece if you like this kind of video please give it a thumbs up because it does help us get in front of other artists who might like this kind of work we do release videos every week, so if you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, we can let you know when we upload the next video. Have a great week.